or Hawaii. 100 new COVID-19 cases were reported today across the state, 88 on Oahu, 12 on the Big Island. There were also three more deaths reported. The state's COVID death toll now stands at 91. On the Big Island, a tenth death has been reported at a veteran's home in Hilo. While federal aid has not come, Sarah Madison learned the state is stepping in. Health department officials tell us there are two teams at the veteran's home on Wednesday. One is the Office of Health Care Assurance conducting an unannounced inspection for two days. The Department of Health decided to conduct the unannounced inspection based on the rising cases and deaths at the facility. A spokeswoman tells us inspections of long-term care facilities are conducted as part of the state's regulatory process. Unannounced inspections can occur at any time when a concern is raised by the public or others. A physician from the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency is also there to help. To help do an assessment to try to see if there's any gaps in procedures, um, uh, analyze the processes there that are going on so that we can try to stop the spread of COVID in the facility. Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim tells us he's been requesting for a review at the veterans' home, and it's finally being done. What is happening at the veterans' home was totally unacceptable as far as the number of people uh, that would be tested positive in a sequence of time. Very, very, you know, unacceptable the number of fatalities of the veterans' home. Avalon Healthcare manages the facility and tells us it has not received federal assistance, but there may be a team from Veterans Affairs possibly coming to do an assessment. Any, you know, third party um, inspection or um, uh, advice or um, process improvements that can be passed along. Um, we would, you know, we would be happy to receive those, you know, but at the same time, too, we know that we're following CDC guidelines at the facility. We're told the state's inspection report may be available in about a week after it's written up. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Developing news from Kauai, the county council passed a measure that requires all restaurants, grocery stores, food trucks, and other food providers to stop using styrofoam food containers and cups starting in 2022.